Mara is asking, uh, uh, she's watched a lot, <clears throat> excuse me. I watched the loud colleague nicely make space for others when they were on the driver's seat in a mob. So do you have advice on how to deal with loud and quiet people to make mobbing a good experience for all? So in both cases, I would say someone needs to speak up. And if they can't be, like, if it can't be themselves, um, then it needs to be someone else in the mob uh, to, to make clear they'd like to hear all voices. So may, maybe also ask the people who stayed quiet if they have something and it's okay if they don't right now, but just to give that space clearly and also to hint for the louder ones. Actually, that works also in meetings to just, um, how do you say, like um, change the focus of like them talking to, there's another person who might have something to share. And that's with great persistence. Have you have you ever um, have you ever had like so you've got the the person driving you've got the team mobbing have you ever had someone who was a, like separate from all of that to kind of check for those kind of things have you ever tried that is that, is that even mob? a thing yeah. yeah so you've got someone someone so maybe the team is not as experienced with mobbing yes. Yes, and they're yeah. trying to and they're trying to stop those kind of problems from happening. So they they kind of are not transitioning through the seats. They're just kind of stood there helping people actually make it work, kind of like a facilitator almost. We had it in our first introductory mobs, like the first ah. two three sessions um, for my team when I was on the mob, and of course I have it when I give mob sessions at conferences. So then I will be the right. person from the outside who intervenes right. and gives focus on everybody needs to be heard and sometimes it's the ideas from the more quiet people who are you know what we need right now <laughs> <laughs>